these are the chargers that don't play as much like anchors, for one thing. And they all have their own unique little mechanics, because with a weapon like this, range is a pretty big deal. <laughs> so you gotta give it something to offset the fact that it doesn't have as much of that. So here's what they tried to do for these weapons. The Squiffer is a much shorter ranged charger. It's already missing from here. But it charges very quickly in the air. So if you are jumping, you can even jump off and just get, I think it's full charge or full speed uh, charge in the air. And if I'm cool yeah. enough, it is, it is. Nice. So you can do things like that. Um, this is, with, with this particular kit, it's very situational, unfortunately. But something that I have seen a lot of is um, Ice, in particular, likes to use the Squiffer on Inkblot to control the enemy plat. Uh, and he basically does that by standing here right next to the plat and just doing this over the top of it. Uh, and he can still hit a good number of things from over the top. And he's also painting it a lot in big, difficult-to-traverse strips. Um, so this is one potential use case. And with the Squiffer, you're going to see people doing a lot of, like, this kind of jumping. Or this. Because they are able to um, keep charging at the same speed while they're moving that way. So... Um, that's the unique mechanic for this one. The We'll go through the unique mechanics of all of them, and then we'll, then we'll talk about kits. Bamboo is a, an extremely fast charge time, but it doesn't one-shot. So the combo with the bamboo is actually to hit a mostly charged shot plus a very fast tap shot. And that's the fastest way to splat someone with this. So while it is not instant, and you do need to keep your reticle on them for longer, it is still relatively quick. And this lets you fire more shots. And also to... Alright, I just got word that pizza is coming. This is excellent. Um, I uh, the It gives you the ability to fire more shots... You have a high, faster fire rate with it. And so this tends to be played like a, a midline zoning weapon. You put a bamboo somewhere, and you make it very difficult for the enemy team to actually approach you. Um, you, you kind of become a brick wall, where it, you approach right here, and they hit you with one shot, and if you keep trying to go in that direction, it's not long before the second one is following. Um, so they can kind of just stand there and assert dominance against certain weapons. Unfortunately, this kit isn't helping you do that as well. Um, it would... What would a bamboo like? Like, if you're designing a bamboo kit to just be really strong, but also balanced enough to function in the current game, like, what, what would you put on it? I feel like the whale's good. It probably does just a curling bomb. Okay. You could probably make value out of bubbler as well. I don't know. Apple would yeah. I would say burst bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, burst bomb is the stream, but yeah, Something like fizzy yeah. curling bomb. Yeah, would fizzy would well. actually be pretty good because it chips people down fairly well. Okay, so you hit one hit of the fizzy, and then all you need is um, a full charge shot. Yeah. yeah. Torpedo um, maybe. Oh yeah, torpedo. Goo tuber is actually a very slow charge time. It's slower than the Splat Chargers is. And it doesn't have anywhere near the same range. It's only out to about here. But it has a very long charge hold. So I can just swim this. It can also hold its charge while it's not fully charged, too. It can hold yeah. partial charges. So here's a partial charge. And I have delivered it. Um... <laughs> Partial charges also do actually splat. So that was not a full charge. 
but it did enough damage to splat. It's it's about two thirds of the way around, maybe three quarters. Right about there. Um, so it packs a little bit more of a punch with a partial charge, and it can swim that partial charge up to someone. But that doesn't make up for the fact that it is longer, shorter range, longer charge time than the other chargers, and so the main weapon is generally considered to be a low tier. Um, the kit, however, is one of the best kits you can give a weapon. Um, <laughs> and so it has seen some situational use in even top level play uh, because being able to throw torpedoes and also fire missiles happens to be a pretty good thing for a weapon to be able to do. These tap shots are decently long too uh, if you're ever in a fight with a teammate and you want to assist them. Mm -hmm. They go pretty um, far. And that is often how the, it actually ends up fighting. Um, it ends up kind of taking these like maybe like 52 range yeah i'd say that's like 52 range uh tap shots uh to assist like a frontline teammate in getting a player down um and that was something that uh, chara mentioned when he was playing it in the big house he was like yeah no i i you know got some good tap shots that was that was one of the things that he prided himself on and that's something that the weapon does and you see him <laughs> using it that way so it's uh, in a very weird spot, and I don't feel like there's a good way to make this weapon meta without just giving it a kit that carries it. Um, but it is very weird, and it's a, a gogurt tube, and um, funny. <laughs> so it's the god tuber. <laughs> uh, and then there's snipe rider, which, which is a whole other can of beans. But uh, these three are the kind of short range chargers. Um, each with their own niche. Of these three, um, let, let's first take just the main weapon, and then let's talk about the kits. Um, which of these three do you think is the most viable and why? Uh, are we talking about main weapon specifically? or we'll, we'll start with main weapon, and then we'll do full kit after that. Uh, I, I want to say Squiffer. I might be biased, though. I agree with Squiffer. Yeah, I think Squiffer yeah. is like a better... Uh, I don't know. It just, it just feels better. I guess. It's, you could support people fairly easily with Squiffer. The charge time yeah. is pretty fast for like where you want to be. And big you don't have bubbler's, to worry about turf as yeah. much with the mm -hmm. jump. Mm -hmm. And big bubbler's not bad. There's certainly there's certainly better big bubbler weapons. Oh, so you're saying there. it's also the better kit? I was just thinking mm -hmm. main weapon first. Oh, okay. Well, main weapon Squiffer. I'm looking at like everything. <laughs> yeah, it also paints the best. Everything, as, everything, yeah. To be fair, Squiffer does a good yeah. amount of paint, especially if you want to take it on zones. You can spam tap shots pretty fast. Yeah. And their tap shots are really good. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, Squiffer. It did have a time where it was in the meta of Splatoon 2. Um, and I think one of the cool things about it is that it's, it's the most mobile charging charger like you can charge while moving in ways that none of the other chargers can um so you're able to be a little bit more flexible with your positioning than having to like just stand still and wait for the circle to fill up um and i think that gives it a huge mobility advantage and that makes it so that it can function a little bit better on the midline than the other chargers which have to stand still for longer like the goo tuber is all one and done. The the mobility that you get from swimming is fast, of course, but once you fire that one shot, well, now you're committed to standing where you are again until you get charged. Whereas the squiffer, it can just be kind of like jumping, swimming, squid rolling around and getting that charge. So I think the bamboo like can absolutely wall people out and it's it feels hard apples to oranges to compare that to the other chargers because it's so different. Mm -hmm. Um but I think main weapon-wise, I would probably agree Squiffer at the, for the time being. Now, with a different kit, I could see Bamboo eclipsing it. Like, they Bamboo's give the Bamboo missiles second. or something. Like, mm -hmm. I could definitely see it beating both of those out. But uh, as for right now, yeah, Squiffer feels like the answer. Just they gave Squiffer a kit that just... Mm, very underpowered, I think. Um the big bubbler isn't a bad choice, I feel, because like it's able to 
take space long enough to get a charge and that's all you really need if you're accurate with it so that's kind of nice you can use it selfishly the way that a roller or a blaster will um but it's also not going to be as great at uh tracking someone who like gets into the bubble with it um as like a roller would be <laughs> roller it's gonna a much easier fight once you get into that situation and point sensor just feels really underwhelming i, I don't feel like it needs that Like lethal bombs are good, but I think point sensors fine. I miss inkjet swiffer. <laughs> Me too. I miss inkjet period yeah. because they it's on they two, have weapons. two weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two weapons and one of them is an anchor. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, they need to add like I want at least half of the weapons that they add in the next season to be inkjet weapons. <laughs> oh please, please. That's old... chill season. We all got support weapons. Support yeah. flavor. You know the Agro crazy thing? If they did actually do that, where it was half of the weapons that they added were inkjet weapons, there would still be just as many inkvac weapons <laughs> as there are inkjet weapons. There are a lot of inkvac weapons. Yeah. And no one plays <sighs> <laughs> big swig, I, I guess. Why? <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen splat chargers and I have seen jet squelchers, and that is all I have seen. <laughs> I've seen rapid pro a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Anyway, um, a little bit off topic. Going back to chargers, so that that's the short range chargers, and we'll do a game each on those, and then we'll talk about the sniper rider separately and try to wrap our heads around what the heck is this thing. Um. Would you say for me to change the gear up? I'm thinking this might actually be a weapon we go ninja squid on. On Squiffer? Well, I guess you're going to be up out of the ink for most of the time, so you're probably still visible. Yeah, maybe not. I think more swim speed instead yeah. of ninja squid. Mm -hmm. Definitely swim. Uh, I don't play too much Squiffer. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. <laughs> No, swim speed stealth jump is what I ran uh, when I played Squiffer. It's probably something solid. like that. Yeah, that's yeah. close enough. Probably ODE comeback. Yeah, comeback. Yeah, come back. I think I'm come back. Not Brian Water because <laughs> I could see that being a great challenge if you run into something that outranges you greatly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially on the ramp. Don't worry, I'll throw a point sensor at him. That'll show him. <laughs> Tracking's so important on a, a Squiffer. Oh, I'm playing against Grape. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh. Well. Granted, they're, they're playing double bamboo. But this is Grape and Pony, who are Div 1 level players. Good thing you're Div Zero. Let's get it. <laughs> Div Zero game. Oh, if I hit that, oh, I, that I win that. Oh, that was so close. <clears throat> I was kind of joking when I said uh, getting brine water and <laughs> something that I don't you. <laughs> Yeah. It was a prank. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, nice. nice. I forget to use your jumping. Real good. Yeah, that does paint a lot for just an uncharged tap shot. Um, okay, you well. can almost play like a bubble junior if you really want to. Like a fall else. Yeah. Except without the bombs, obviously. Let me do it. Let it rip, let it rip. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I then ran missiles into my teammates. Oh, that was almost it.
Yeah, I probably should not have picked that up. Just getting pinched by too many lasers. I'm worried that they're going to come in on the right. shot at him. Darn. Well, we run him down at this point, so at this point I'm just looking for clams. Okay, let me have those. That'd be nice. Oh, that was a good flank. Laser. Oh, man. No. Just lowers out on right right now. So the bamboo outranges me is a thing I'm finding out. Mm hmm. Yeah. to still paint with the scripter because you can like kind of paint your opponents into the corner gives you easier shots oh, oh. i didn't see the e-leader at all We need to have a clam made soon. Might just drop down and work on making one. Can I sneak these out of here? Yeah, I can. And then I can just use the rail, right? Use the rail. Are you oh, kidding no. me? <laughs> Gotta be careful Again, with those they, I saw, I I saw a banana peel telling you that someone's been littering on Brinewater Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. Just gotta save this from the E leader who's guarding it. It's fine. Yeah, juke the E leader up. Break his, break his oh. Oh. Your teammate picks this up. See, right? Yeah. And then we die. Everyone. And <laughs> that's game over. I think well. he had that though at the end, you know? Yeah, all things considered. Now I hit the rail. <laughs> It was pretty close to the game. Man, you guys are so nice. I, I'm like calling it the roast of Jim. I'm like, yeah, you're, oh. you're going to be here to make fun of me. And all you're like, oh, hey, nice shot. Nice shot, J Jim. Just Good job. Aim, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when we're not recording. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> that brings us to the bamboo and the gootuber. I shall goop first. This is actually the one that I am uh, most familiar with because I did a uh, Weapon to X series with the GooTuber. Oh, and wait, no way, really? It was actually one of the ones I got the closest with. I know Pick Pickles is like a GooTuber one trick. They're the only one I know. So. They do also play... Um, oh, they do also play the other short-range... Chargers. I think they play like Squiffer and Bamboo, depending on the occasion. But uh, that is definitely their main. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't played this in Splatoon 3 very much, so I don't have a knowledge of like using squid rolls. They probably just juke someone out with it. But uh, the charge time is really annoying. It makes it feel very punishing to miss shots. Yeah, even though it's actual charge time isn't all of it. Well, time to kill. 
Mm -hmm. But you need it for the, the max range a lot of the time. Yeah, that's true. Committed slightly. Good thing about GooTuber and him, them blue lead, is he got a bomb to work with. That is nice, yeah. Oh, hi. Gosh, he's running. Oh, he's going. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, when is he gonna die? At this point, I'm just like, that's somebody else's problem now. <laughs> yeah. Go get him. Oh, how nice he backed up so his team is going back to the No. Allegedly, I'm notorious for letting like, people die to missiles. Allegedly. <laughs> Usually, I'm the one dying to my teammates. Feeling the playing this weapon correctly feels like just playing the kit instead of playing the weapon. Yeah. It's kind of awkward to play. Yeah. That X washer is a huge problem. Oh wow! I thought I hit that one. Agros explode. I miss the immediate detonation of the uh, point sensors. For how little they do, at least when I nail someone with the aim, it's actually going to hit them. <laughs> Whereas with the yeah. torpedoes, sometimes it's just like, well, that was completely on target, but the torpedo decided to stop before it got to them. Sometimes it just keeps going up. Jim wins these every day of the week. Oh. I had a heart attack. I thought you were going to fall off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, not again. The construction worker left the banana peel on a heavy head. <laughs> Ooh, nice. See, you win those. You win those. Okay, we're alive. And we're backing out. Okay. Can you not? Thank you. Funny I don't know what I do about that. <laughs> <laughs> the crab. The crab was just right there. It couldn't stop it. I couldn't move. Except death. I've ordered your coffin for you. <laughs> this is uh, not where I want to be. That was uh, maybe a bit of a frontline play. It was not ideal yet. <laughs> Team cleaned up though. Bully the X-Washer. Get it. Or torpedoes, I know they love those. Okay, he's like, oh man, I have to 
use half my ink tank just to shoot it out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I would drop back behind the ledge before that came out, and then I was still up top, and I was like, oh, this is a problem. Your did team we miss? Well, in their base. Did we really oh, miss? They did, we yeah. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Ooh, no. they got it. They got it. Nice. We still don't have any fall. Yeah, they're a bit far. Everybody's dead. I figured that was the best chance that we had, just scoring as much as we could. Because, like, I can try and maybe skirmish around a little bit and spend a little bit more time in between clam throws. But, like, I don't trust myself as a GooTuber to really be able to win those. I don't trust myself to win those as, like, a 52 gal, let alone <laughs> a GooTuber. <laughs> So, like, yeah, I don't know. You did the best you could. So, and now for Bamboo and Snipe Rider, which I think are the two that we can compare the most to each other, honestly. Because um, they're both non-lethal chargers um, with higher rates of fire from different methods. Bamboo, definitely the lower range of the two. But with the better special by a lot. Is there a weapon in the game that doesn't like Killer Whale? Maybe like an E-Leader if it doesn't reach as far as the E-Leader does, but... Mm, yeah. That's Feels a pretty so solid fun. special, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you could put that on any weapon, and that weapon would be one of its better kits. You'd be like, well... That's okay with me. Yeah, you need like a really good sub like, sub-main weapon combo to make it kill it well not one of the best kits, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, burst bomb. Even then, well, probably still be worth playing. Yeah. This looks like a Splatoon 2 comp. I love the God, it does. Plates, the paint, the bamboo. This would be triple missile in Splatoon 2. Oh, yeah, they both look like <laughs> Splatoon 2 comps, actually. that turns me away from playing War Bamboos. I cannot stand Ooh. how it paints. Yeah, yeah, it's not great. It's pitiful. You like have to full charge the paint. Which is really yeah. sad. The nice thing about yeah, Bamboo is that it keeps this range though, even if it's not charged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like a, definitely a, a trade-off. But... Oh gosh. Ooh, well, that, that, was, uh, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> Just walked in on a, on a murder. And that's... I felt really good for a second, then realized I hit a sprinkler. Behind you, I think we found your yeah, trophy. I, I was trying to figure out where they were while I was throwing the clam and just didn't spot them. They're not running ninja squid. They're running ink recovery. They're trying to be a painting roller. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> go chicken go oh no where were we oh no nobody was watching the front door 
It is really nice against the sharking weapons to have an auto bomb. Just so you know which way they went. Carefully, we sucked up your chicken. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Wanted a chicken nugget. Man, I hit them, but then I had to respect the charger. So I got away. Oh, let's go! Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. nice. Very good off angle on that, uh, the crab. Ooh, okay. Front line, front line bamboo. Going off? You actually found your charger. It's the There's one. There's still one there. Or not. So when are you buying a ring for the bamboo? <laughs> <laughs> They didn't get me. <laughs> Very nice. Doesn't yeah. count. Bamboo Slayer moments. Nice one. Nice one. Oh my goodness. All right, last one. We have the Snipe Rider. So, part of the inspiration for making this video with people who were there to roast me was I made a video on Snipe Rider. Oh my God! I need to stop doing that. Um. And during said video, I realized that the clip of me playing it that I used, I didn't hit a single shot. <laughs> oh. Um, one cool thing about this weapon is that when you only have one charge left, if you're close enough to tap shot them, you can still get the, the two tap and finish the combo. That's one thing that I've figured out about it. Um... But otherwise, it's basically splatter scope range, but bamboo kind of playstyle, except a little bit less mobile. Yeah, I'd probably run run speed on this one, huh? Yeah, that would make some sense, huh? Do people run run speed on? I think I don't know, but I'm doing it. Pretty good on it, honestly. It plays kind of like a flat one. Like yeah, um, people have been compa comparing it to Splatling a lot with how it wants to run. Um, in fact, let's just run a comparable amount of run speed to what a Splatling would use. Yeah, because once you're in the... This is one thing I don't like about this is once you're in like the charge, the fully charged, you have to use those five shots or, you s or if you have to swim and move away, then you lose it. Mm -hmm. Well, you do get that's... the paint back. Nice. Yeah, you do but get yeah. the paint back, but for me, it's just kind of awkward, but maybe I just need to play it a little more. Yeah, so you have to be really careful about deciding when you're going to go swim form. When, like, yeah. It's a risk-reward question. It's more supporty than pick-oriented, kind of like the difference between a 96 and a 52, I want to say, almost like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roast you, Jim, because that is like the ugliest hat. You said, I wanna wear some run speed, and you picked the ugliest hat imaginable. <laughs> Listen, man. This I is the Milady hat. I off the map, but I cannot excuse this. <laughs> Let's see what. Tower control, undertow, and mincemeat metalworks. Woo! I think mincemeat won't, won't be too bad. Yeah. I forget that the maps that are bad are, are bad because chargers like them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, Brian Warner's terrible, and I'm like, I kind of like it. <laughs> oh my god, more A towers, e leader players be like, you're hurting my feelings. I used to call like a, the snipe on on more A towers my room, and I'd be like, guys, they're in my room. <laughs> <laughs> or if uh, someone who didn't have a lot of range would be on snipe and be like, Hey, get out of my room! <laughs> <laughs> that's my tent. Yeah, that's my tent. Get out of here. Alright, I will proceed to the one singular sniping location on this map. The only. It's that's good that you have run speed too, because it's great. 
Okay, this doesn't reach all the way this... across. I love the sprinkler and snipe rider. I, 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 I miss having a sprinkler character. I don't. <laughs> Hey, okay, scary, scary weapon, long range, scary. Yeah. I don't have a lot that I can do against that. Because that's long enough away that I don't think I can hit them with cap shots, but it's going to take too long to charge. And I don't have a bomb to throw at them. Yeah, that's another... That's, that's a place where the kid is definitely holding it back. Like, just like spot charger just throws a bomb at someone there. Oh, hi. Hi, Roller. Please don't notice me. Thank you for not noticing me. No, please be gone. Oh my <laughs> silly! Haha! Silly! Ha -ha, silly Splatoon moment! Oh my gosh! I said the line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I can test this. <laughs> Very careful. Use your right side peeking powers. Go, Jim! Right side peek! Jim, Jim. Uh oh, there's your friend. Ooh! Oh, you got it. Okay, nice flick. First flick of the session. See, you hit one. Yeah. You're doing great. Here, here uh, if we die, we will be able to die again sooner. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, this probably isn't the most ideal map for uh map Raider, huh? Yeah, it's uh probably not the most ideal game for Snipe Rider. <laughs> probably not the most ideal map for Splatoon 3, honestly. Yeah. It goes back to like uh you have to commit to charging up five shots and you can't move and it's I hit him once. Very nice. But he hit me We're once and it, it did more he damage. Hit you once. So <laughs> <laughs> they're hacking. You got this. If I can get them to miss one shot, it's not the worst matchup, because then they have to charge again, and I don't. True. Just throw sand in their eyes. But counting on a charger to miss a shot does not feel like an optimal playstyle. Um, there's nobody behind us? Oh no. I don't- this is an uncontested checkpoint. This is bad. <laughs> oh, they didn't get it! The fools! It was free. Any sodies? That's lucky nice. you don't grab your sodas. It was for the boys. It's for the boys, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes me me scoot along the ground a little faster. That's true. Yeah. Otherwise, like I'm not expecting to die very frequently. Aha! That'll stop him. Just got yeeted. The video I'm going to be making about the descriptions that Sheldon has of the different weapons. And one of the things that I find consistently funny is how he talks about Sprinkler as if it's a zoning pressure tool. He talks about it like uh, you can use it to stop someone from moving somewhere. And he's like, are you sure about that? Maybe in Splatoon 1. Yeah. One sprinkler went hard. And if you always have an area painted by your sprinkler, I guess. But, uh. Hey. That's a Forge favorite... Pro in their pace. My favorite shell of the thing is, um. When he talks about the H3, he goes, It's he! It's laughing! And I would call the H3 the he. <laughs> the for he. so long. And I'm like, finally, it's canon. Thank you, Dave. The hee hee. <laughs> the hee hee. <laughs> hee hee. Oh no. 
Well, that's, uh, that's Sniper Rider. Um, granted, I was up against two actual chargers, but... Uh, you definitely need some buffs to have a place. I feel like it needs yeah. a bomb. That would be so tremendously big for it. Faster charge time. Faster charge time, or maybe improved strafe speed. Yeah. Um, something to make it so that you're not just going to get forced out of your charge. Not Tacticooler. But I even a bomb would be so big for it. Like, give it a burst bomb, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm considering this. Yeah, you need to like, buff oh, the, um, the main damage full charge to, like, 70. Yeah. 60 is kind of underwhelming. <laughs> well, we finally made it. That was a really long one, and there's, there's probably a little bit of editing down to do on it, but uh, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me. I knew it was going to be a longer one because we have eight weapons on this class, which is a lot. That's the most out of yeah. uh, any of the ones that I'm making. Um, and there are yeah. some other long ones on the way, like the long-range shooters one, for example. So uh, blasters, I think, chargers, have eight. Yeah. So there's a lot of them. But thank yeah. you guys so much for providing some uh, insight. There are a lot of things here I probably would have said wrong if you guys hadn't mentioned them. And there are a lot of things you guys brought up that I didn't know. So thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Turns to look at camera. Fourth wall break. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Audience exist. Uh, I've got a whole I... bunch of links in the, dis in the description that you should definitely click on. And it would make me happy. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.